Ravens defense coordinator uh, Mike McDonald talked about what he sees from this Browns running attack. It's really the the holistic you know approach for the whole team. I mean, um, you know, obviously they got great coaches, they got a great scheme, uh, they're very well coached. Uh, obviously the front, uh, the O line is um, you know as, as advertised. Uh, the tight ends do a great job of blocking. So you know, anytime you face a great rushing team, just much like our our offense, it's all eleven guys, receivers, no one to block. Um, and then I think schematically, you know, there's a lot of schemes that you see. It's not just wide zone. It's not just gap scheme. They kind of got everything. Um, and then you know, they they motion, motion and shift and stuff to you know try to create angles and leverage and numbers in different areas too. That you got to be make sure you're on your p's and q's. So. And Jeff, let's take a look at this. So highest graded player by position on offense by Pro Football Focus. Nick Chubb is the highest graded running back. Joel Batonio is the highest rated guard. Wyatt Teller, who will miss the game, is also in the top five. So um, while sometimes defense coordinators give you lip service, Brown's running game isn't lip service. It's, it's producing. Uh, well, the one thing I will take from that, it was very nice of him to try to mention his team's own running game, which is nowhere near. <laughs> it's not right. even the same stratosphere as the Cleveland Browns. But, you know, whatever you got to say, they try to make everybody feel good with a you know, participation trophy, I guess, so to speak. Um, look, it's no secret. And, you know, this would kind of, even if Deshaun Watson, when Deshaun Watson comes back, if you're playing the Cleveland Browns defensively, what you're saying is, is I want to take away the running game. It, it's just that simple. Nick Chubb, and it's amazing the production Nick Chubb can put up. Because, you know, I went through this with people for a couple of years about overall talent between a player like Nick Chubb as opposed to Derrick Henry. And Nick Chubb gets 8 to 10 carries less per week. And right now, the production is just 10 times more. What Nick Chubb is able to do production-wise for the amount of times he touches the ball, it's kind of like you know, like a Barry Bonds-ish type of thing. Like, he gets it. You give it to him five. If he gets the ball five times on a drive, most likely the Browns going to score a touchdown. He is just that type of player. He has just that type of impact. The thing with the overall running game is just the, the way the line works together and you see it now with Jedrick Wills in year three you see a lot of improvement with Jedrick Wells um you know, we, nobody talks about Ethan Post like but Ethan Post has been fantastic to this point and the fact that we don't talk about him is probably the biggest compliment of all uh you know Jack Conklin I don't think anybody was really sure you know how ready he would be um how good to go you know he would be this year coming off the injury but he's been fantastic we'll see what Frohl going in here this week um, played, you know, kind of sound last week. Um, you know, but he's got coached up. He's getting all the reps this week. This is one of the things that you get when you have a guy like Bill Callahan in tow. You get smart players who work hard, who know the system. Um, and the Browns just got to make sure that they can find a way to get this run game going early. Because when we saw last year with the Ravens in that first game, once the running game was taken away, and the Ravens basically can just say, "All right, we're rushing, we're covering." Uh, that's when you get into a really, really bad spot. And when you get a defense like that going against a guy like Jacoby Brissett, who, you know, definitely limited athlete, and the throwing style is slow, the throwing motion is slow, you get the opportunity for interceptions.